Hello everyone! Today I am a little bit more glamorous. I am doing a photo shoot with my husband later on. He's taking pictures of me for my blog. But let's talk about today's topic. Do wildlife biologists travel? I'm Dr. Stephanie Shuttler and my channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to conserve the natural world. When you think of wildlife biologists, you, like a lot of other people, might think of scientists like Jane Goodall or Diane Fossey who worked in Africa studying chimpanzees and gorillas in these really remote areas. They obviously traveled very far to get there. I actually studied African forest elephants for my PhD, so I am another wildlife biologist that traveled pretty far to do my research. But is it true that all wildlife biologists travel? And the answer is no. Whether you travel or not will depend on your research question, and then eventually when you graduate, who you end up working for. When I went to graduate school, I was actually one of the few scientists who traveled very far to do their research. Most of my colleagues did their work in Missouri, which is where we went to school, and maybe they did travel to their field site, but it wasn't nearly as far away as mine was, which was in Gabon, Africa. But lots of people had field sites that were maybe just an hour away, so I guess technically they did travel to their field site, but when it's an hour away, um, it's really not all that far. So it's actually very common not to travel um, that far, uh, at least for your graduate school experience. When you get a job, how much you travel really depends on your job. If you are working for the state government, you might travel a lot, but you're probably only going to travel within the state. The exceptions might be if you go to conferences, and that will probably be national travel. With the US government, you might travel a bit more. This might even include some international travel. There are some positions um, that actually do get to do international travel because they work on endangered species across the globe. Yes, we do work on endangered species all over in the United States. Um, so yeah, you may get to travel with that job, but those jobs are pretty rare. Quite honestly, once you graduate, um, especially after you get your PhD, you're going to be traveling a whole lot less for research, and when you do travel, it's probably going to be for conferences. I have been really lucky in that I've been able to travel all over the world. During my postdoc, I got to travel to, um, I believe, yeah, all of, all of the continents except for Antarctica. But a lot of that travel actually was for conferences. Um, so one of my favorite conferences, the Society for Conservation Biology, is in a different country every other year for their international meeting. And I always go to that. So at least two of my destinations, no three actually, Colombia, um, Malaysia, and France were because of a conference and not field work. So yes, wildlife biologists do travel, but the type of work that you do is going to um, greatly influence how much you travel. A lot of the senior scientists that I know and work alongside, they travel a lot, but again, it's for meetings and conferences. It's not so much field work once you get your PhD. I hope you tune in for our next video. I am excited to talk to you about finances. How much money do you make as a wildlife biologist? If you wanna make sure not to miss out on that video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna help me out, share it with a friend so we can spread the message. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. Bye.